Welcome back once again adventurers to Let's Play Biohazard 3 Real Survival. And in the last episode, Jill and I, against our better judgment, ventured into the treatment room where not only were we locked inside, but we were also trapped with none other than the nemesis himself. But after fighting a fairly grueling battle, in which we actually managed to uh, effectively use the uh, dissolving acid on him at least once, um, which kind of worked out in our favor, um, we were able to incapacitate the nemesis to the point where uh, he was the one that was being uh, dropped into the disposal pool below and not, not us. However, uh, we have more pressing concerns. Turns out that that missile is in fact on its way. And I'm surprised that the dead factory actually has a missile detection system installed to uh, inform us of that very fact. But that fact is in fact very much fact, so uh, here we go. Unfortunately, we're down to two first aids, so we're going to have to make those freaky. But we got the uh, umbrella keycard lock system, which is absolutely fantastic. And, uh, well, we're going to have to uh, try and conserve our ammo from here on out. This is where things uh, really start heating up. But uh, now that we have the uh, card reader, we can actually... Uh, not only we, can we go into the shutters down the emergency... down that tunnel there, we can also now use the elevator. That's precisely uh, what we're going to, do, going to do. There is nothing for us down here at the moment, so uh, without further ado... Let us leave, although uh, I have the sneaking suspicion that we're going to be fighting some more uh, denizens. Oh, that is... that is an ominous sight. Oh my god! See the bubbles down at the lower part of that uh, disposal area. We're actually still fine, though uh, did use quite a bit of uh, items there. And uh, speaking of which, it's time to retrieve some uh, items of our own. First of all, taking the uh, handgun because I promised that we would. Uh, escape with it, as well as uh, Jill's handy dandy trusty uh, lockpick. We are taking that with us unless uh, we use it on something for which it ultimately serves its purpose. Now we are going to save. 18th and final save, hopefully. Or rather the 19th. Yeah, the, the 19th save, sorry. Save number 19, not 18. I think it has uh, vanished into the ether. Good riddance. But we need to check this elevator first before we get the hell out of Dodge because it is going to be very useful for us to do this. First, we need to uh, use the keypad on the elevator so we can actually use it. Down we go. So definitely uh, heating up. Um, I don't know what was going on there, but uh, for some reason Joe wasn't uh, mentioned there. 
But we have, uh, we have grenade rounds, we have two packs of grenade rounds, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, trust Umbrella to, or rather thank Umbrella to have a storage system down here, a weapon storage system. Is there anything else down here? Um, Appears to be a battery of some kind, and uh, just want to check down. Uh, no, there doesn't appear to be anything else down here, uh, this way. But uh, we have uh, we have some lockers. That one contains absolutely nothing. This locker has a lock. A lock that is very similar to the uh, device that was on the ultraviolet. Uh, device downstairs, which, uh, well, if you didn't use the facility key on, on the uh, downstairs device, you will be kicking yourself right about now, because we're going to use it, because we need that code in order to uh, get this, whatever's in here, and I have a feeling that whatever's in here is going to be very, very important. Will we take the rocket launcher? Hell fucking yes, we will take that rocket launcher. There's nothing more. And uh, that was all the facility key was uh, used for. The key itself, utterly useless. But the uh, card on the key was uh, what was important. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the rocket launcher. A very similar model to the one bestowed on us by the now late Bradford, unfortunately. The M66 rocket launcher. An old but powerful weapon. This rocket launcher is known as the Tyrant Slayer. Was used to kill uh, the T00. And now, we'll, uh, we'll be taking it with us. We will be taking it with us. <coughs> now, there is nothing else here but to uh, make, our, make good our escape. No, we're on the up. We are on the up. I'm definitely on the edge of my seat, yeah. Now with the creatures to get in our way here. Let's uh, use the card key reader. There are zombies down here. Card key is uh, useless, but uh, put you all down. Oh, and as I live and breathe, herbs, herbs, herbs. Thank you, thank you, herbs. Combine them together. You didn't really think I was going to waste a rocket launcher on those three zombies, did you? Pfft, of course not. And now we're here. Where a certain uh, UBCS monitor made good his escape before. To make things even better. Active. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And there is wind out there, which means that there might be uh, either a broken window or uh, this place is open to the elements. There is also a ladder there, but um, there doesn't appear to be anything else. What are we doing? Uh, what are we doing so far so good? And yeah, this uh, appears to be some sort of uh, tower. Definitely doesn't bode well. 
there anything else here? Doesn't appear to be. Just doing a bit of checking before... Uh, first aid spray. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a first aid spray. Hell fucking yes. Oh my god. I am... I am so grateful for that. That makes that you know. So that is the is probably going to be the last first aid spray we shall ever have. That is uh, very uh, old equipment. There is the lid is locked. Hmm. Does not bode well. But there is this device on the console here. It's a portable radar receiver, which is uh, very convenient. A very nifty looking radar there, and uh, definitely uh, doesn't fill me with confidence. However, uh, re-examine this uh, lid to see if we can actually uh, break the lo lock on it. Nope. It looks like the uh, equipment here is completely busted, so there is actually no way for us to uh, do anything here. It actually looks like uh, we might be trapped here after all. Which is very unfortunate after we've come so far. Hey, what the? You're still alive. Such persistence. Nikolai? You. Sorry, but there's no escape from here. Car oh dear, that's bad. That is a high D helicopter. At least I think it's a high D helicopter. And we're faced with another live selection. Negotiate with Nikolai. Return fire to the chopper. Don't have much time. So, you want to get out of here alone? Is that your plan? That. I made certain none of the other supervisors survive. I. Since I'll be the only one who knows what really happened, I'll have more bargaining power when it comes to discussing my bonus. Then why kill me? I'm not on their payroll. It, they want you eliminated for reasons of their own. The amount is modest, but there is a reward to be claimed upon the confirmation of your death. The Although I'm sure I'll miss you, it's time to say goodbye. You, you can either accept death with dignity or die with regret. It's entirely up to you! <laughs> there he goes. With the helicopter. Jill, what happened? Oh. Carlos. Nikolai beat us to the chopper. Yeah. I guess this is it then. But I don't want to die in a place like this. What? This isn't over yet. Oh. I'm not giving up, Jill. We still have a chance. Then. Well, Nikolai Zinoviev, Worldline Convergence has smiled fortuitously on you this day. We could have either blown him up. Um, along with the helicopter, and caused them to die in a f fiery wreckage. But, uh, well, we decided to talk with it out with them and ultimately let him get away. There was also the possibility that he might have uh, also been murdered by the nemesis for interacting with Jill far more than he ought to have. 
but not in this sequence of causality, ladies and gentlemen. Nikolai Zinoviev, much like his uh, umbrella counterpart in the USS Special Agent Hunk, has made it out alive. And he is the sole surviving monitor in the Raccoon City operation. Which means that, uh, for better or worse, we are uh, pretty much stuck here, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, well, unless uh, Carlos can figure out a way to uh, contact anyone else from the outside using this old and outdated equipment, chances are uh, we're once again uh, back to square one with uh, finding a way out of Raccoon City. So that is going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Biohazard 3 Real Survival. And when we return, hopefully we will find a miracle at the heart of this desolation. As always, adventurers, until next we meet.